You really couldn't have asked for a more beautiful day today. It's absolutely unbelievable. I'm here at the Blue Creek Preserve. It's a metro park of the Toledo uh, area. It's a recently done metro park. This is a limestone quarry right here where they have fishing and stuff. There's something more interesting that I'm here to show you. Did a lot of driving around today. And uh, didn't have that much luck, but I, th I thought, you know, I should come back this way. Because I, I know there's going to be something interesting around here. This is just a pond. I mean, I'm not in the fish or anything, so obviously, I mean, that's not the point. You'll see. Stay tuned. Give you a chance to read that brief description there. Talking about Blue Creek, right here uh, has limestone quarries and all that, and used to have uh, different Indian tribes who lived, hunted, and farmed here. But from 1918 to 91, it was home to the Toledo House of Corrections or Workhouse, a prison farm that operated here from 1918 to 1991. So 13 years ago, it closed. The um, main prison buildings ac across Shadow Road just to my west and it is extremely protected they don't even want people to take pictures of it but so here I am at the parking lot and right here there's the uh, one prison building which would be the prison farm barracks not the prison itself and then over here off the map is the prison itself which has been abandoned for 13 years now so right behind me is the barracks or workhouse building. We're going to be checking it out next. You can see they have the old tin roof. It's really weathered. And those old doors. And all the windows that are boarded up. I'm assuming this is the public land part of the park because I think like nature's nursery has taken over the land behind it and they're utilizing that. Yeah, they are. They have a new, newly paved drive right in front of me and behind this old building they're using nature's nursery land. They're using it to house nature's nursery. But uh, that old construction is awesome. There's a sign back there, no trespassing violators will be prosecuted. I think I can still look at the building. Wow. All that old concrete. That's so interesting. Like the old concrete block built in the uh, early uh, 1900s. Surely they don't use the inside. They have it secured pretty cool, pretty good, but it's awesome to see it. And awesome that it's such a nice day, really hardly any wind and this must be the one of the entrances, I don't know for vehicles, it looks like it may have been big enough, but general entrances. Yeah, this is going to be standing for a long time just because of the nature of the concrete. Don't want to hang around too long, but I know they have skunks here at Nature's Nursery. Back there you can see the workings of that. Is that man, you can smell them. Yeah, they're just using it behind the old, uh, the old corrections building. And right here are some of the new add-ons for Nature's Nursery, which helps uh, injured and straight animals in Lucas County. Kind of ironic, that's blue. You're gonna be literally thrown in there if you trespass. 
the color of Lucas County Sheriffs. Well, they're more black and yellow, just like all the sheriffs. But uh, it's really a shame that they don't have that prison building itself more accessible. Because it's really, really uh, amazing abandoned building. I mean, it's, it's behind me to the west, way off the road, and very heavily guarded. There was a guy I know in Toledo who wanted to photograph it, and they wouldn't even let him go there and photograph it because they thought his photos would bring other people out to the location and they didn't want to have to deal with it, so. Back to here where we started, that there we just saw was the uh, workhouse of the prison farm. So, it's pretty unbelievable. It operated for 73 years. Very cool. Nobody's out here today. Kinda hard to believe it's such a nice day too. Really got scared away by the thought of uh, even being even looking at this um, work building. They were gonna get like uh, in trouble with Lucas County Sheriff's or something, but no, that's not gonna happen. It's on public land because Nature's Nursery is a public uh, operation, but obviously not when nobody's there. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm rambling. Later.